the old East Bay span is being dismantled. But parts of the bridge will be around for people to remember. The steel that's in the bridge will be, in fact, recycled and moved back into the stream effectively and reused. But a, a generous portion of the steel is also being saved for incorporation into civic and public art projects for artists and other creative professionals to envision new ways to bring the bridge and the history of the bridge forward into the future. This is a program being sponsored by the Oakland Museum of California. They're the nonprofit sponsor of the program, and so all the information about it is available on the Oakland Museum of California's website under Bay Bridge Steel. It's uh, about 0.01% of the steel in the bridge is the amount of steel that will be salvaged for the program. But that amounts to more than 450 tons of steel. The steel that we'll be distributing will be sandblasted, uh, remediated to a specific standard so that people can understand uh, what they're dealing with when they get it and that the surface material will all be removed. The first round of artists, welders and architects toured the bridge to spark their imaginations. There will be two more rounds to apply for the steel in May and December of 2016. Artists from around the world are welcome to spend $10 to apply for the steel but the projects will all be required to be situated in California. Right angles and hard edges of the Bay Bridge will once again become Bay Area landmarks for generations to enjoy. When I, I heard that, that the steel was going to be available, I wanted to take advantage of that and see if there was a way I could incorporate some of the story, me being a former steel worker as well, some of the story of this bridge into some art as well. It's very challenging to come to terms with something that's so incredibly loaded with history. It's kind of like a, a bridge god <laughs> coming up to, and then I am a little artist, like, what am I going to do with this thing, right? <laughs> This is the touchdown of the old Bay Bridge where they're actually dismantling and loading material in. And there's a, there's a barge location here where they're dismantling some of it. And the really cool thing is we're, our site is literally not across any significant roads and less than a mile from all those locations. So we're able to bring these giant 200,000 pound pieces directly <laughs> to our site on giant oversized trucks. The Hyfei Design Lab in Oakland had already been working on an intermodal facility at the Port of Oakland where truckers, longshoremen and tourists will one day converge. Our idea is to integrate the bridge pieces, uh, very large segments of the bridge pieces, into the actual architecture. As you enter, there'll be a cafe and then a bike repair shop. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a food court with a bunch of different vendors. Beyond that, uh, some more like fast food. Here's this very iconic trapezoidal truss that is actually what you see as you approach each of the major spans of the bridge. You enter on the front end of the site and you can wind up the path and either head over to the elevated bike path or wind back along this this green roof here. The steel extension here um, is basically the extension of a rooftop platform. So you can see more in this image. Um, basically, uh, the public will be able to circulate on top of this roof, which will be a, plant, a vegetated roof. And, and a park. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oakland Museum has picked outside independent judges to pick which of the 16 first phase applicants will be granted steel. The winners will have six months to secure permits and lock down sponsors. The program doesn't provide funding for the projects. It provides the, for the material at no cost to applicants who are successful, but the applicants much, must secure their own public site and all the approvals that are necessary for that and also generate their own funding. On the Old Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.